In this kit, we have some gorgeous uh, amethyst nuggets and lapis lazuli nuggets, which really are really lovely and they're great for organic designs and statement pieces. So this is the one I've done for the kit with um, about eight other pieces. So hopefully you can see photographs of those. Um, so if you haven't done this technique before, then it's really, really quite easy and it's quite it's quite a good technique to be able to mix in with other techniques and designs in your jewellery. And it's great for bridal too. I do quite a lot of bridal um, work with this technique. So here we go. You will need to get a piece of wire that is as comfortable as you can use to work with. Um, I'm not using too long a piece today because it will be flying everywhere. <laughs> so um, I'll just show you how to actually start this. And it's built up of um, different sections. So I've done three sections here and then you can actually um, secure them together with some wire and through some loops that you make at the back. So I'm going to get some of these lovely amethysts first. And what you do is you take, take your wire halfway so you've got the same length either side of the wire and then take it in your right hand and your left hand and twist keeping your right hand moving and holding your left hand still so it slips through so that's one we've done and then you, you alternate with these pieces of wire here so I'm now going to put here we go, let me move that over there now and then you can probably see that a bit more. So I'm going to get another one. I started with the amethyst first and you can either start with the lapis first or carry on doing as I've done with the amethyst. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. So um, I'm going to do a smaller one now, just by the side of the first one I did. But remember, you have to make sure that you've got the wire going the exactly the, the opposite side so you've got the same wire because you want that to join into the middle there so it hooks on and it stays in place so just wind that up again twisting so we've now got two sections there now and then if i want to make because we're sort of grouping this section here you can if you want to like i've done at the bottom here you can sort out one of your larger ones and then have that at the very end there which does look really lovely and i i wore it asymmetrical um but you can actually if you wanted to wear it like so so i'm now going to do another couple do another one And then what you do, you actually build these up. I think we might take that up a little bit further just to give you an idea of what to do. So if we do exactly the same, just have it so the wire is coming back into the middle there. Get your hands as near as you can to where you start twisting. And what we can do, if you want to do that, we can put another little one find a little one of the nuggets because they are there are different obviously different sizes in these nuggets and you can see where the vein runs through the middle where to get your hole the hole to put you know to put your wire in so if we take that further up there then you would just come back again as I've just done before but I'm not going to do that this time I'm going to take it a little bit smaller so we've got more of a cluster effect so there again, you have to get a good grip on the wire to actually twist it round. It does grow quite quickly as well, which is... So therefore, what you can do now, is like I've done here, I mean, because the shapes are all different, you will find that different shapes look differently. But I've just done that now. And then these sort of move around a bit as well, so you can squash them in and make different... Now, this is the one I did earlier, which I've put one of the... Lovely how light in, you can twist this round so that your wire's not showing. So that now has got a how light in the middle, which really looks lovely. I mean, you can look in your stash and pick up any color that you want to actually go with this. You can mix the colors with it. Um, and then what you also can do, which I've done on this one here, you can actually, I got some seed beads out of my stash and I've just um, put the how, I've put some um, seed beads around that, that around how it, 
gemstone there and that just gives a different look so there's no set you know you, you can do whatever you want with it so we'll just do another couple and basically that is the technique i will show you another little technique that you can do with um, some seed beads or some pearls which does give you a lovely addition to the kit as well you can do it with a howlite exactly the same but it's nice to have some smaller ones just to go round so that's another one and then if you want to you can maybe um, put another howlite in or you can whoops sorry about that, that's the wire twisting round there you go so leave that there so you can but then actually you can make these little um, these little buds that are on the, the necklace that I've I've done here with, with the kit, but I just added these myself just to give it a different look. So what you can do is you can put three of these onto the wire. And these are just what I've got in my stash, bits and pieces, which we've got lots of those. So then you can do exactly the same as you do with the um, nuggets, but then you just pinch exactly the same and then get your fingers and your thumb round and twist it and just twist it until it's quite secure. And you've got them standing proud. You do get there, you just have to be patient and keep twisting Another twist, I think. Maybe two. And then you get that nice sort of look. And then you can maybe add another, you can maybe add a pearl or you can add another howlite. Okay, so that just helps to fill in the gaps of the wire and then just twist it round and just twist it. And then you just carry on working until you've got your shapes, which I think it's really quite easy to do. And, uh, and it's also quite inventive really, because you can, you can try all sorts of different things with it. Like as I showed you before, with the, the sort of um, flower effect there. And then all you do then is you actually start to build up your, I mean that could come over down that way if you want to or that could fit in there. And what I've done is at the back of, if you look at the back, which one was it now? That one, this one here. I've made, I've left some wire at the back there so if you just curl that wire there and then you can thread these other sections through. You can actually push the wire through that section that you've made there which then gives you that gives you that um, design and then you can just do another section for the top but you can mix the you can mix the nuggets if you want to it's entirely up to you so I hope you enjoy having a little play with the tiara twist take care everybody bye bye